What is up everyone, it's CMG here. So in the Overwatch 2 Mythic Shop this week, we finally have the release of Ana's new weapon skin, Midnight Sun. So this is the second Mythic weapon skin to hit the game following Reinhardt's Bound Demon that arrived about a month ago, I think. Now, me knowing that I play a lot of Ana, despite this, I'm not going to buy this weapon. It's far too expensive, are you kidding me? <laughs> but the least we can do is dedicate a video to taking a look at it and then trying it out in the training mode. Now, it's not only this Mythic Weapon skin that is new this week. Uh, we also have a few skins to look at in the store as well. This Egyptian dinner party bundle featuring Ana, Farah, and it looks like we have a, a Genji chef skin in the back there as well. <laughs> Quite ridiculous. Uh, Ana's skin is most certainly a recolor because I recognized that skin from a previous Halloween event. And I think Farah's might be a recolor as well because looking at that skin specifically, uh, there's already a golden version as opposed to the white one we have here. Uh, and obviously Genji's one is very new. Uh, there's also a season highlights bundle as well up here. I'm assuming these are some of the community's favorite skins. Uh, as they've been all crammed into one bundle or something. I don't know. I've lost track of these skins. There's so many at this point. So I think the first thing we can have a look at is the the mythic... Or is it now? It's the, the mythic uh, weapon skin for Arno, the Midnight Sun. So this is what it looks like. So it's based on an ancient Egyptian theme, as with the majority of Season 12. It looks like it's, some, it looks like it's got some sort of crystal uh, that spins uh, in the center. And I believe it sort of emits like a bright glow in the middle. Uh, it looks pretty exceptional, as with most of the mythic content. So, yeah, it looks quite cool. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's pretty much what it is. Now, the other thing as well is you've also got the reactivity, you've got the flourish, and you have the kill effect as well, which is going to set you back a few more prisms. Or, in this case, money, because that's what Blizzard want you to do. <laughs> or want you to spend, I should, I should say. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and have a look at the skin. So what you need, what you got here is 50 Mythic Prisms unlocks the actual skin. And then you have the uh, level 10. So you get the level 2, uh, whatever this may be. I think it's a sort of like an animation of some sort. Oh, I see. So when you shoot the weapon... When you, when you heal or when you make you deal damage, it, it makes a sort of like particle effect, I think. Uh, now this... Well, I, I can't really look here because my internet's throwing a wobbly. <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Let me just go ahead and try the skin out. Alright, so here is the Midnight Sun Mythic Weapon skin in-game. This is um, this is Ana's new weapon. So... Okay, so basically what it is, if, if, I'm, if I deal damage on here... You see that sort of like a smoke particle effect that's around the enemy? That's a little bit different to what you have for a regular... Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow! So when you actually eliminate them with the weapon, you get this sort of like sword effect as, as you kill them. So they don't they don't uh, fall to the ground, you just, they just explode. And you have this sort of like sword effect. That's really awesome. Now what if I heal my teammates here? Do they do something interesting? Uh, I don't think I don't see any difference there. I think there's like some sort of like yellow sort of aura that surrounds the the teammate as you heal them. Okay. All right, that looks interesting. I don't really see very much of a difference as opposed to a previous uh, weapon. Right. The other thing as well is there's also the the animation for the weapon. So if you, I think if you stand stationary, she might actually do it. Okay. So she's just observing the weapon. That's about it. I think there's another animation as well where she brings out the sleep dart. Or something like that. We just got to wait until it happens. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to happen or something. Okay, so she's literally just observing the weapon. That's about as far as it goes, really. So I think if we wait a little bit, we might actually see the animation where she brings out the sleep dart as well. The sleep dart pistol. I'm not really too sure if... Uh, no, I think it's just an observation of the weapon itself. It's not anything else. Is, is that part of a... I'm not sure. I'm not really too sure what's going on here. There was supposed to be some kind of animation where you... Hmm, that's really strange. I'm not sure how the how you trigger that. I'm using the other 
Yeah, so anyway, that's pretty much the, the weapon skin in its entirety. It looks pretty nice. The, the sort of crystal inside the weapon as it sort of like spins around inside. For some strange reason, I thought for a minute in the animation of the menu screen, it looked as if the crystal inside was sort of like emitting a sort of glow, but it obviously doesn't seem to be doing that, which is really strange. Anyway, so there you go. That is the um, Midnight Sun Mythic Arna skin, uh, the weapon skin. Am I going to be buying it? <laughs> no, are you kidding me? It's too expensive. Look at it. <laughs> no way. I'm not going to be spending 35 quid on a weapon skin. It's crazy. Um, I mean, you can have, we can have a look at the uh, the weapon as well. Can we, look, can we have a look at the... Um... Oh, there's the sleep dart pistol as well. There's the sleep dart pistol. Oh, there's even there's even like little crystal inside that as well. Wow, that looks really nice. Oh well. So there you go. Okay, so let's take a look at the Egyptian dinner party mega bundle as well. Uh, there's also these separate um, skins that you can buy uh, down here if you want to just buy one of the skins. But we'll take a look at the bundle, obviously, for obvious reasons. Right, so this is... This is Nefertari Farah. This looks like... Um, this looks like a, a, a recolor skin, I think. There's, there's another uh, Egyptian skin that's very similar to this one. I think it's called Asa or Asa or something like that. So there you go. That's the actual skin. And then that's, this is the, the weapon. Looks very Egyptian. Obviously because it's Farah because she's from Egypt. Or Egypt slash Canada. Yeah, it's a pretty nice looking skin. Very, very, very cool skin. But it is a recolor, so... Of course, there's that. Now, this skin... Okay, so this is definitely a... He literally looks like a Japanese street chef from Kanazaka. <laughs> so I think I think Hanzo has something very similar to this, and, and, and Zenyatta as well. They can all be sort of Japanese street chefs. This is Genji's version of that. So he's got like a bandana. And then there's... Those are his sort of like a wooden sort of design shoryukens and then you have the wow it looks like a cutting knife actually <laughs> as opposed to a sword it looks like a cutting knife wow okay and then you've got this sort of like a wooden design to the to the skin it looks really nice okay and then you have tomb walker so that's what they're calling it as a because this is this is a this is actually a recolor to Anna's mummy skin which is from a Halloween event. So as opposed to like a sort of like a bright colors, you've pretty much got like darker colors. So this is like a darker abbreviation of what was originally in the game. So it looks all right. And then you have uh, the other, there's the weapon. Wow. Right, so we've also got some highlight intros. We've also got some emotes, some name cards and some player icons. So let's have a look at the, the highlight intro for Genji. Oh, okay. Fair enough. That looks all right. <laughs> wow. So he just like just jumps into the air and just slashes you. Does some crazy ninja stuff. Oh, that looks really nice. Very, very cool. Uh, and then you have an emote for Farah. She does like a little strut. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so everyone's got like this sort of like a walk cycle kind of emote. And this is Farah's take on that. Wait, hang on. I, I say this is a recolor. I don't think the helmet... I'm talking about Farah's skin. I don't think the helmet is... Is the same as the previous one I was talking about. Which is the, the golden version of the skin. I said this was a recolor. I don't think the helmet is the same. Uh, I don't know. Anyway. So that's uh, that's e that's the emote for uh, Farah, the walk cycle. Uh, you also got some name cards as well. 
That looks incredible. Like, let me some hieroglyphics for ancient Egypt. That's pretty nice. And then you have Omakaze. This is a, a, a name card based on Genji. Okay. Uh, and then player icons, you have Nef Nefertari Farah, Omakaze Genji, and then some sprays down here as well. One for Farah, one for Genji. And yeah, that's about, that's about it, really. That's pretty much all of the bundle that you get from this. That's, that's everything you get from this bundle. That's really nice. Uh, of course, if you want to go ahead and buy them separately, you've got all these down here. Um, and then you have the Season Highlights Mega Bundle up here. Now, I think this is just basically just some favorite skins. Because obviously, um, I forgot to mention it at the beginning of this, this video. Uh, this The anniversary 2024 has just started as well. Uh, I just wanted to make that uh, clear. <laughs> um, and again, with the like with the um, the Egyptian dinner party, the, the skins down here are all separable, so you can go and buy them. All right, so let's have a quick look at these these skins. So you have Dryad uh, Widowmaker. Um, you have the K two thousand Blade Master for Kiriko. And then you have uh, some epic skins for. Wow, this is an epic. Okay, but anyway, this is an epic for Lucio. Uh, then you have one for Farah, and then you have one for Bastion. And then there's some emos down here as well. There's some, uh... Actually, there's some stuff down here that I've actually, that I actually own. That's really interesting. I've got the Moonwalk for Lucio. I I've got that. And then you have... <laughs> fire Engine. Oh, that's the Fire Engine, um, emo. Okay. All right, and then you have a, then you have a few uh, weapon charms, and then some voice lines. So there's basically like a mix and match kind of bundle here. You got some stuff from previous events, just crammed into one bundle. All right, so there you go. So that's pretty much all of the new stuff in the shop for this week. So you got the mythic. So obviously the the piece de resistance is the midnight sun mythic weapon for Anna, and of course these these other these other skin bundles as well in the shop. So some pretty good stuff in the in the shop today. Let me know what you think of all of this content. What are you going to be buying? Um, do you think any of this is too expensive? Well, if you say that, then I completely agree with you. <laughs> anyway, thank you very much for watching the video, guys. If you like this idea for content and you want to see more in the future, go ahead and click on the subscribe button. Send a comment, like the video, and then turn on your notifications. It really does help me out a great deal. You can also check me out on all of my other social medias my Twitter account, my Discord, and of course my TikTok, and let's not forget as well my Instagram and my threads. Thank you for stopping by, chaps. Have a great day, have a great life. Be nice to your fellow gamers because we're all human beings. I've been ZMG as always. Until the next video, I shall see you later. Peace!